What's going on guys, I'm Enstimaze, and back in September of this year, we unfortunately had to say goodbye to Ash's closest legendary Pokemon ever. Yes, I'm of course talking about Poipol. However, what if I told you that Poipol might actually return one day, thanks to multiple evidence suggesting that it will return? Would you be happy, would you not mind, or would you be disappointed? Let me know in the comments down below. But yes, for today's video, I've decided that I am going to showcase what I believe is strong evidence supporting that Ash's Poipo could return to the Sun and Moon anime. So, with that intro now said, let's jump right into this discussion. Firstly, I'm going to bring up the fact that surprisingly, Poipo is still getting a lot of merchandise made surrounding it. And not just for the Pokemon games, as every Pokemon gets merchandise, but what I mean is for the anime specifically, and usually when merchandise is made for the anime, it predicts future episodes. For example, I believe towards the end of 2017 or early 2018, we got anime merchandise featuring Sandslash, which of course that Pokemon played a major role in episode 80, where it gave Lily her Isanium Z. Talking about Z Crystals too, there was merchandise back in 2017 suggesting that Lily would get a Z Ring. And well, with her now having an Isanium Z, she's bound to get a Z Ring in the future too. So overall, I believe brushing this merchandise away in the corner will be a bad idea, as there is evidence supporting that Poipo could return. And trust me, although I gave two examples of merchandise predicting future episodes, there has been way more. Again, I will say that this is new merchandise, people. It's not old. Hell, we even see a piece of merchandise of Poipo along with Ash's soon-to-be Eevee, which Eevee hasn't even met Ash yet. Moving away from merchandise though, we also have this image from May, which I brought up back in old videos, which spoiled the evolution of Malostini three months before it evolved in the actual anime. And I guess it's also spoiling future evolutions and captures. Look, Eevee's there again, so that got spoiled too. The weird thing about this image though, is that Poipo is there, which you would think seeming as it would get released soon, remember this image debuted back in May of this year, but the creators of this image wouldn't feature Poipo on this image. This is kind of weak evidence compared to the merchandise, as of course they could have just wanted Poipo on the image anyway, but it's still something to think about. Once again, for those regular viewers of my channel though, this is not an image that is in the Pokemon 2019 calendar, it's just a simple image teasing what was to come in the future. Next up, I want to talk about the brand new opening and ending for the Sun and Moon anime, Your Adventure and Twerp Twerpet version 2. Did you notice that in both of those clips, that Poipo was featured prominently? A little too much in fact. For example, when Ash is walking down memory road in Your Adventure, Poipo had the largest amount of screen time compared to Nebby's and everybody else's like 1 second of screen time. And then in Twerp Twerpet, there's an entire scene of Poipo being... Poipo. But you would assume that now it's released, it wouldn't get this much focus. It's like the anime is trying to tell us not to forget about it, as it could return one day. Finally for this video, I want to bring up the point that Ash only has 4 or possibly 5 members on his Alola team at this moment in time. That possible 5th member being Eevee, due to many evidence supporting that it could be Ash's. If you want to see more evidence regarding that, then check out the video I'll leave in the description, I card, and N card. Anyway, with no 6 Pokemon yet, and like only 40 odd episodes left of this anime, which we have to shove in development for Rowlet, Misty and Brock's return, Pony Island, possibly Team Skull and Guzma, the Alola League, Lily's Skull, the Pokemon School graduation, and much much more, I think there is no time whatsoever for Ash to catch a 6 Pokemon and for it to get development, especially because Eevee will be taking a lot of screen time up now too. So, maybe the anime will pull the same trick they did back in the XY anime with Gudra, and make Popo return, so Ash has a full team to battle with in the Alola League. Popo already had some development and a lot of screen time already too, so the writers wouldn't need to give more focus to Popo either. Just bring it back, and then it would return home to its family after the Alola League. As clearly, Popo shows enough in episode 84 and episode 90 that it wants to stay with its family. This entire section I've been explaining, making the most logical sense to me. And that's all the evidence. What do you think of it? Do you believe it's strong enough to hold up, or do you think I'm wrong? 
let me know in the comments down below. I love to hear. However, if you did enjoy this video, then be sure to consider leaving a like, a subscribe and a share for future Pokemon content. It helps out a ton. You'll also become a member of the Entity Squad. New Entity Maze merchandise is available in the description below too. For now, this is Entity Maze, signing out. Thank you for watching.